Digital literacy is most impactful when it is integrated across the curriculum, at every level and in every subject, discipline, and department, because it's essential for every student. With a campus-wide initiative, students build digital literacy throughout their education. The University of North Carolina Chapel Hill infuses digital literacy from the moment students set foot on campus. This sets them up to use increasingly powerful and relevant technologies, like Adobe Creative Cloud, to solve problems and tell stories in every course at every level across the curriculum. For example, students complete a digital literacy project in every first year writing class. They use Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro in a physics lab on campus to measure the properties of light. They produce service learning documentary films to help local nonprofit organizations tell their stories. They record cultural anthropology podcasts and they publish public health science information posters and brochures to educate the local community. These digital literacy initiatives are the cornerstone of deeper learning outcomes that lead to fruitful careers. They also enhance student engagement, improve retention, and raise the graduation rate. Let's hear from education leaders at Adobe Creative Campus Schools about the impact a campus-wide digital literacy initiative has on faculty and students. Our journey with Adobe started around 2013 at the journalism school. We had this sort of introspective moment where we were trying to figure out the future of journalism and all this disruption going on and how we were going to teach it. And our dean decided to speak to industry leaders around the world to kind of figure out what skills our students need to land jobs. And that's not just our journalism students, it's really all of our students. And so the feedback that he got, there was really one common denominator which was digital literacy, digital skills. So we decided to go all in with digital and do a school-wide digital literacy initiative. And Adobe came around at just the perfect time. It's not only the industry standard um, in media, but we love that it's platform agnostic. Um, and so it was really easy for us to give it to all of our students and support it at USC. I think it's important for our courses, no matter what they are, to have a digital production component in them. For example, when I teach my documentary history and theory course, one of the assignments is for the students to create a podcast where they analyze the film in pairs and they use clips from it in order to really bring to life what this film is and feels like as they're discussing it. It just brings a particular kind of vibrancy to the conversation that you wouldn't have if you were just doing it in a paper. When we established ourselves as a creative campus in Arizona and we invested in the technology and provided access to students, there was anecdotally a real bump. Like people said, this is great, I'm actually excited to go to Arizona because this set of tools is available to me. But more importantly, I think also parents were interested because we we're going to introduce these sorts of skills in all kinds of uh, curriculum. That's why we started bringing in over these past eight months different stakeholders. Art and Art History and the College of Art are very invested in bringing the cloud to campus. So our um, School of Education, particularly their ePortfolio program and their international program, journalism of course has a big reason. And so it's the first time we've actually started having the conversation uh, where are the stakeholders and how are we going to make these demands. I and one of my colleagues are trying to figure out how to implement these digital tools on a larger scale. I, I think that I've been fortunate to be involved with a program who support this type of scholarship, but I realize that there are many other disciplines who don't even know that these resources are, are available to them and that this could transform their scholarship as well. So I and a colleague are creating modules to kind of foster digital literacy across the graduate school. This year, with a pilot program for our um, freshman composition program, English 1030, uh, where we're creating a new syllabus which is driven by digital creativity. It's, it's a ground up uh, syllabus that has been or is being developed by our um, faculty that teach in that program. Um, and I'm also working on a project with our graduate school uh, to develop digital assets for their uh, professionalization program for graduate students. My ideal scenario is a user will uh, develop their own understanding of how they want to use it rather than always rely on somebody else coming in to tell them. And so that's that empowerment uh, and that, that comes through understanding. 
And I think the center of excellence is, its purpose is to um, foster that understanding. If you take the 10 best projects in each discipline and you showcase how you can use the Adobe software to produce the end results, teachers can then visualize how they can use the Adobe software in their classrooms right away. We felt like digital literacy was really important. So in partnering with Adobe, we feel that both our faculty and our students can use the Adobe products to integrate into the curriculum the initiatives that we wanted to put forward when it came to digital literacies. It was really important that everyone had access to the Adobe products, not just one college or one program, but that all students at the University of Arizona, whether they're in the science program, if they're going to medical school, whether they're in the humanities, wherever they are, this is cross-discipline. Digital literacy does not just pick and choose a discipline. Digital literacy cannot be introduced too soon in this era. I think the sooner that students are introduced to digital tools and different spaces where they can share their academic achievements, their scholarship, the better they're going to be in a 21st century workplace. So I think it should be integrated at all levels from elementary to middle and high school. And then by the time they get to us in higher ed, which is where I am, um, they have a firm foundation of how to use and navigate in a digital world. Obviously, as a writing instructor, digital literacies are important to my classes. However, they are critical across the curriculum. Most contemporary researching, reading, and writing, or multimedia composing, are digitally mediated acts. Whether searching for secondary sources in library databases or on the web, or collecting primary data through online survey or recording an interview, finding, analyzing, synthesizing, and reporting out on information is predominantly digitally mediated. And I'm not just talking about school-related research. Buying a car, finding a certain type of medication, going on vacation, all these research acts are facilitated by and through different digital environments and applications.